Where I am right now, I'm in the ranch Gilgil Gardens in Nakuru County, a place called Gilgil. And uh, this exact area is known as Nagum. We have subdivided these plots into 50 by 100, meaning it is an eighth of an acre. Now, if you'd want to invest with Faraja settlers from uh, Gilgil town to this place, it is just 15 kilometers. We have social amenities around. We have Nagum Primary School. We have water. Uh, of course, you can see the borehole on your screen. We have electricity. Uh, we have a hospital like Samaritan Hospital nearby. So this is a very, very uh, good uh, place to invest. If you're looking for investment here in Gilgil, kindly consider the ranch Gilgil Gardens. A 50 by 100 piece of plot is going for 240,000 Kenya shillings. And if you'd want to own this plot, I always tell you that Faraja settlers accommodate each and every one of you. So if you'd like to own a 50 by 100 with Faraja Settlers Limited and you don't have, you know, 240, we can work with you. And uh, we can work with you uh, in this way. You can deposit 10,000 Kenya shillings only and of course clear the balance in a very very flexible payment plan the 240000 kenya shillings is inclusive of your title deed so after completing the 240000 you will not need to add any more you know amount you will get your title deed within a duration of 1 month after completing paying your uh, you, you know the 240000 kenya shillings so guys, if you want to own this plot, you can book for a site visit, which happens every Saturday. And you can use our mobile number to book 0705525252. Or you can visit our offices in Nairobi CBD along Ronan Gala Street, a building known as RNG Plaza in Nairobi, fifth floor, room number four. And of course, you can come there so that we can be able to plan for a site visit. And of course, people in diaspora, call that number on your screen, 0705-525252 and be able, you know, to talk to us so that we can be able to plan, you know, how you can be able or maybe you can send somebody to come and see uh, the plots that we are talking about. So guys, invest with Faraja Settlers Limited and own a 50 by 100 piece of plot in Gilgil, the ranch Gilgil Gardens, going for 240,000 Kenya shillings only. And of course, you can pay 10,000. And then ulipe pole pole hadi umalize because we always ensure that we are accommodating you uh, and you will be able to complete this amount in due time. So Faraja Settlers Limited, we always ensure that your property is our priority. Hello everybody, wherever you're watching us, uh, my name is Hira Maina, aka Kamuhunji, and uh, uh, where I am right now, I'm in a Matia sublocation, Kakamega County, and uh, I told you that uh, in the, you know, couple of episodes that will be airing uh, this month, uh, it will be coming from Kakamega County, and I hope that you, of course, you invest with those amazing deals courtesy of Faraja Settlers Limited. Uh, now, today I have a man of God from Kakamega and, uh, you know, he has been going through a lot of pain and a lot of challenges in his life. And of course, uh, his name is uh, Timothy and uh, he has been accompanied by the wife, uh, Frida, and we'll be talking to them so that we can be able to know the challenges that they have been going through. Uh, because he was diagnosed uh, with renal cancer. And, uh, you know, being a man of God and going through all that, and of course even stopping, you know, ministry, uh, it really, really hit him hard. And we'll be hearing his story so that we can be able to even appreciate uh, the little things that we have. Because these are the things, that, or these are the stories that make us, you know, to appreciate life and uh, even uh, those small, small things that we take for granted. There's a verse in the Bible that says that uh, uh, God heals all your diseases and he heals up the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. And I'm sure with this verse, it will encourage even Timothy because 
you know, in this world, we always say that God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in times of trouble. And I believe, even you, wherever you're watching us and you have maybe something that is pushing you really hard, uh, just believe in God and uh, I'm sure he will be our uh, ever-present help in times of our trouble. Because trouble will always be there. But with God, we can be able to maneuver and make it through. So help me welcome uh, Timothy and Frida so that we can be able to hear their story. Uh, Habarizin. Mzuri. Eh, na zataka muangalia tuanza na wewe bwana Timothy, wangalia hii kamera. Eh, say hi to our viewers wherever they are watching us. Tuko na watu wanatu watch from US, UK, huko Kenya, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, you know all over. Eh, wasalimie, ukimalizia pia mamu tusalimie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amchamboni wote. Mm -hmm. Nena hitu wa Timo wa Singache. Mm -hmm. Timo wa Tsubushuru Ngache kutoka Matia Sublocation, Kakameka County. Na Nena hita ya Kaza ya Fiko mm -hmm. Ilianza mwaka wa 2020. Mm -hmm. Na nikapele ukwa Doret Hospitali Mm. Fire hospital. Mm -hmm. And they were able to work around the Wally Semo Conreno. Around the Wally Sawali Amoa, Kaweka, Okeka pipe. Mm -hmm. Sasa before to Fiki Hapo, a eh, watcher Pia Mama Salimie, our, our Salimie, the people that are watching us. Mm -hmm. You know, Salamia, our Kenya, and Zangu, I'm Chambo. We need a Magina, Naitua, Frida, or Simbo. Mm -hmm. Gache. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, so to Kianzi and your Tueza Kuelewa Napia uh, people who are watching us waweza kutuelewa the Kenyans. Bwana Timothy yes. Umesema Hu Gonjua Uli and Bio Kona twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Sasa before twenty twenty. Ni nini i ulianza kuskia nini yama ni nini uliona and yoka gundua kwamba maybe you mwiliwako hauko sawa. Ya lianza kusikia miku ime, uh, ime kufura, mm -hmm. kichwa, macho, hata sahi macho ya yoni visuri. Kichwa, tu... kichwa inafanya nini? Kichwa ilikuwa kisunguka. O unasikia kizungu zungu? Sungu sungu. Na yo macho? Macho hata wakati huu, mm. macho ya suoni inaona, inaona vile, inaona mato watoa yaani, inaona kisa. E, blari. Mm. Kitu blari unona kitu wa hiko clear. Eh, asiwoni mm. asi, asi visuri. Mm. Sinaona kama kitu ambayo siyo kio clear. Mm. Eh, mm -hmm. Na kukochua kila wakati wakati. Mm -hmm. Nikachua ya kwamba wakakundua kwamba ni iso. Mm -hmm. uh, fiko. Mm -hmm. Figo. Eh, so lakini kwanza wewe hauku umejua ni nini? Sisi ukua nimejua ni nini. Mm -hmm. Kini vila ni yana profile ulidoret. Mm -hmm. Wakata wakachungusa wakawana ni hiyo. Ni hiyo. Eh, ulikuwa na diabetic? Eh, diabetes mm. nilikuwa na diabetes, mm -hmm. nikakuwa na pressure, mm -hmm. nikakuwa na ulcers. Mm -hmm. Wakati huu niko nazo, niko nayo. Mhm. Mm oh, huwa mm. wakati so diabetic ulipata uli, ulipata lini? Diabetes nilipata 20, 2019. Oh, 2019. Eh, eh na pressure, blood pressure. Pressure na 2020. 2020. Ile wakakundua nimekuwa na, na pressure 2020. Oh. So uh, ama ikwe ulikuanga nayo ni venye huko umegundua? Nisi ukuwa nimekundua. Uh -huh. Kina wale ndi walikundua. Uh -huh. So mlipo sasa enda hospitali hapo Eldore Trifaro. Na wakagundua kuwa uko na reno o cancer. Hiyo ni cancer ya kidneys. Uh -huh. 
nyinyi kama familia mulisikia aje maybe mama unaweza tuambia wewe kama bibi ya Timothy hiyo habari ama hiyo news uliichukulia aje mimi ndio na yeye karibu mhm mm walisema mm -hmm. wakasema watamweka kwa mashini waanze kumuosha fiko atakuwa tu sawa mm -hmm. na nikakubali mm -hmm. kwa sababu alikuwa ameisha nguvu mm -hmm. Hata kukaa wezi ni kulala tu. Chiro walisema hivyo nikasema ni sawa, bora mzee wangu apone. Mhm. Ndio akaanza matupapo. Mhm. Akamwekea mpira, wanaita kapeta. Ilie kwa wapi? Kwa shingo hapo. Au kwa shingo. Kwa shingo kwa mchungu. Ina kwa mchungu. Eh. Hadi sasa. Yaani wakiweka ni uchungu. Au wakiweka ni uchungu. Mhm. Kuosha ni uchungu, anasikia uchungu. Kini la bidi lazima aoshwe. Aoshwe. Sasa hiyo kapeta hii kabloku. Tena fide tulukua dole tuwaka sema osuptali ya nyeko karibu ni wapi tukasema kakamega. Ni farol. Kasema hivyo ni sawa sasa muruti kakamega. Wata mutipu huko. Sasa tukua tunaenda kakamega. Kapeta ya kwanza ya dole di kabloku. Tena ya kakamega hii kabloku. Na wakasema tena tuchange kweli walichanga pesa. Mm. Familia la kanisa mm. walichanga. Ndio tukaweka hiyo kapeta. Mhm. Mm Akaanza kuoshwa. Mm. Sasa kuoshwa tena ika block. Mm -hmm. Wakasema tufanye mchango tena tununue ndio sasa hapo tukashindwa. Mm. Sasa huko tu. Mm. Ni madawa tu yenye anatumia kwa sababu pesa yenyewe ni mingi. Mm. Tu kuheshwa tena kuweka ya nne. Mm. E, yaani madamu iliingia kwa hiyo kapeta na ika block. Mm -hmm. mm. So bwana Timothy ulipo wewe ambiwa. E, wewe ulikuwa mchu, wewe bado ni mchungaji. Eh hey, mchungaji. Hey. And uh, you know as a man of God ulipoambiwa kuwa uko na hiyo renal cancer ulichukulia aje hiyo habari ulisikia aje nilisikia kwamba mimi nimeisha kwa sababu mm -hmm. hata wakati wote siwaisifanya chochote mhm mm huo na lala tu mhm mm nasikia tu kulala mhm mm na kwa sababu pesa za ku, kuenda kuweka pipe nyingine 35000 mhm mm 1000 1000 mm -hmm. kwa hivyo nimeshindwa nitapata wapi kwa sababu mm -hmm. ni kila ni kila ni kwa ni kienda kwa wiki mara pili kwa wiki mara mara nne so kwenda tu ni hapa pesa ngapi kwenda tu ni 200 shilingi shilingi 2000 mhm uh -huh. and yani tena kuruti uh -huh. mm -hmm. so kwa wiki 1000 elfu... 1400 elfu uh -huh. mm -hmm. kwa wiki uh -huh kwa sababu wiki wana kwa siku mbili kwa wiki siku mbili au kwa wiki siku mbili kwa hiyo kwa wiki ni shilingi 1400 mhm mm mm. so ukiwa mchungaji na ulipoona kuwa sasa uweza kuendelea na kuhubiri moyoni mwako wewe ulisikiaje uliuliza Mungu maswali niliuliza Mungu maswali niko na mnakani mhm mm kwamba anipe mkenya yeyote ambaye anaweza kunisaidia mhm mm ansaidia ni ruti vile nimekuwa. Mhm. Mm. So according now to the doctors when you were diagnosed, waliweza kusema ni stage ni cancer stage what? Walisema stage 3. Stage 3. Eh. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa haikuwa imefika pale stage 4. Eh, imekuwa stage stage 3. Mhm. Mm eh. Ah uh, sasa daktari wamekuwa kisema kuwa lazima uwe unaoshwa. Lazima ni uoje kila 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 wiki kila wiki kila wiki ni oshwe. Mhm. Mm eh, lazima nipitie katika kuoshwa. So hiyo si ndio inaitwa dialysis. Dialysis. Mm -hmm. Dialysis. Mhm. Mm eh. Mm -hmm. Na vya kula. Mhm. Mm ni kule wepo. Mhm. Mm Watermelon. Kuja kula kapechi, kule mchele. Kila chumbi. Kila chumbi nani? Mm. So chakula yako pia inanga chumvi. Ainanga chumbi. Uh -huh. eh. Okay. Uweso wa kupata hiyo vitu. Uweso wa kupata hizo vitu. Uh -huh. Ni ngumu. Uh -huh. Sababu mwenye mwenyewe. Uh -huh. Sina mtoto yeyote anayefanya kazi. Mhm. Uh -huh. Mtoto wangu wapi? Iko watoto tano. Uh -huh. eh. 
na wote wako wakatunywa bure wakatupa nyumba wafanye kasi mhm uh -huh. eh na wengine wanasoma wengine wanasoma watatu mwingine wako wako college mwingine mwingine form 1 mwingine form 3 lakini pesa hakuna hakuna so inafika mahali wanatumia wanaenda wanarudi wanarudi kwa nyumba mm. na wanataka kusoma mhm wanatamani wasome mm -hmm. ili wakienda enda ulete school fees mhm mm na hakuna hakuna mhm mm so ile pesa yenye hiyo ya 35000 ina mliambiwa ni ya nini ya kuweka pipe au ni ya kuweka pipe kapeta kapeta sasa mm. mm. eh mm. nayo kuna hii 1400 sasa ya kuoshwa weekly kwa weekly kuenda kwa yana na kurudi kuenda mm -hmm. na kurudi 1400 mhm mm yani siku mbili mm -hmm. kwa wiki mhm mm kwa mwezi mhm mm eh kwa mwezi ni 1800 kwa, kwa mwezi kama ni wiki 1400 ni 16000 16000 eh 16000 mm. na hii carpenter inawekwa after how long ama ni kiblock e, kikiblock ndio unabadilisha sasa unabadilisha yani wakiweka inatakana uh -huh. we mwenyewe ukitunze oho uh -huh. eh sasa wakienda kuosha ikionekana uh -huh. damu imekandia ndani wanafanya kasi yani eh. inatakana itolewe tena mununue ingine uh -huh. Na sofa umesema umenunua ngapi mbili? Tatu. Tatu. Uh, ye dore moja alafu dofaro kakameka mo, mbili. Mbili. Eh, Iki block sasa ya nne. Ndio mm -hmm. alikuwa amesema tena tununue. Mhm. Mm sasa uweso ikakosekana. Ika uh -huh. mm, tukashindwa. Uh -huh. Sasa ni madawa tu tukinunua kwa tu ndio anasikia kwa vizuri kidogo. Uh -huh. madawa. Madawa tu. Na madawa ni, ni expensive. Eh. Hey. Anakunyonga kila siku. Eh. Hey ana kunyweko aki, akikosa kukunywa mhm mimi ninakuwa mdhaifu kabisa mhm ila kikunywa hapa nasikia vizuri mhm okay so daktari ali, alisema akikosa sasa kuwekwa hiyo pipe eh chances yake ya kupona iko ama ataendelea tu kuwa mdhaifu kugonjeka kabisa eh fiko mm. itauma mm -hmm. asikie mgongo mhm mm asikie tumbo Mhm. Mm eh, yani na walisema hasa uchafu inaingia. Mhm. Mm kwa fiko. Kwa figo. Chafu. Mhm. Mm Akioshwa hiyo chafu inatoka. Mm -hmm. Na sikooshwa. Mhm. Mm chafu inaingia kwa fiko. Mhm. Mm yaani hizo hizo ndio zitakuwa mhm. Mm Kapata hiyo mm -hmm. kuoshwa mhm. Mm itakuwa uhai wangu. Mhm. Walisema ndio itakuwa uhai wangu. Siwezi nika wesi nikawaacha kuenda. Nikiwaacha kuenda mhm. Mm Sitafaulu kuishi. Mhm, mm ni kuaga tu. Ni kuaga tu. Mm. Mm. Kwa hivyo ni lazima so kama mtu anataka kuishi lazima aoshwe. Aoshwe. Mhm. Mm Na sasa pesa ndiyo hakuna. Pesa ndiyo hakuna. Na hizi hii mara tatu unataka kusema ni watu wamekuwa kiwasaidia. Mhm. Mm watu wa kanisa mm -hmm. na wapoma. Mhm. Mm eh kasa imeshindikana imeshindikana mm. na wo, wo, zile changamoto ambazo mmepitia ni gani maybe kuna vile maybe mkiambia watu unaona maybe watu pia wanachoka ama ni changamoto zipi hizo ambazo mmepitia challenge ambayo niko naye pia mm. e, ya ya kuwekwa kiti nyingine mhm mm daktari aniambia kwamba mhm mm ikiisha miaka miwili inatakana niwekwe Mm -hmm. kitu nyingine mm -hmm. nikitaka uhai mm -hmm. so hizo nyo uko nazo zinaweza tu fanywa dialysis pia ziniwekwe nyingine you do a transplant eh uh -huh. failure to that failure to that is we we survive mhm mm eh uh -huh. lakini walikwambia ni pesa ngapi hiyo transplant ya kidney hiyo ni milioni moja mhm uh -huh. mm inafanywa inafanywa huku Kenya ama lazima inje inje uh -huh. inje sa inje uh -huh. uko e, kama India India mm. problem nyingine mm. ni ya mkono kufa mkono wa wa kulia wa kushoto mm. mkono imekufa tangu nianze kukua hizo pifiko uh -huh. pifiko problem uh -huh. mkono imekufa uh -huh. 
imekufa sasa ni kuisikia uisikia ama ni nini ukiguza hivi nikikusha hivi sisiki ni, ni kanzi kanzi imeshika uh -huh. kanzi uh -huh. mkono huu imechukua muta uh -huh. na kuichukua unaweza ichukua hivi lakini huwezi feel huwezi feel ya kwamba na 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 na, na feel ya kwamba ninashika kitu uh -huh. eh kusikia naweza kusikia tu mkono yuko lakini kusikia kwamba nasikia kama kanzi inatembea ndani huko ndani eh hmm. imechukua muta hmm. eh pia hiyo ilianza 2020 ilianza 2020 vile nilianza tu fiko hapo ndio ikaanza nikatoa nikatoka kwa kutipiwa uh -huh. nika mkono ikakufa uh -huh. daktari ulimwambia imekufa nimeambia nimejaribu kutaununua matawa hmm. sioni upate mabadiliko hmm. Naomba mkenya mm -hmm. yote anaweza kuweka nisaitie kwamba mm -hmm. aweze kuendelea na matipapu kuwekwa takabeta ndio niishi. Mhm. Mm eh. Eh. Naye mam zile challenges zenye unaweza sema umepitia mzee wako akiwa na huu ugonjwa ni kama gani? Challenge yenyewe nimepitia. Mhm. Sasa wangu alikonjeka. Familia ilisimama na zisi. Mhm. Kachanga pesa, kasini, mm -hmm. andi wakachanga mm -hmm. pesa mm -hmm. kitaka apone mm -hmm. wakachanga ikatosha kununua kapeta mm -hmm. wakamweka sasa ikablock kanisa wakachanga tukaweka mm -hmm. tena ikablock sasa saa hii vile ile block hata mimi mwenyewe naona haya tena kurudi kwa sababu mm -hmm. sasa ukiangalia vile maisha yuko mm -hmm. kila mtu ako na shida yake mm -hmm yenye anataka autumie mm. ukiangalia kweli wenye walikuwa wanamsaidia pia au wako na mashida mm. sasa kurudi kuanza kusema mm. ni ngumu mm. lakini kanisa inasimama na sisi inatusaidia kama chakula tunakula mm. lakini sasa kununua hiyo carpet ni ngumu mm -hmm. watoto ndio shule wa, wanatamani wasome mm. wanaenda wanafukuzwa mm. huyu wa college alienda tena school fees kakosekana akaruti yako tu kwa boma mm sasa nikiona hapo hakuna mtu mwenye ndanilia naweza kudilia mm. sasa mapenda tu mkenya mwenye anatusikiliza ama mwenye ananisikiliza mm. akipenda mm. msaada wao naweza kutusaidia mm. msaada wangu apone mm. akuwe mzima aruti file alikuwa mm. mm. atangaza injili ya bwana mm. kila alikuwa mjungaji asimame mm. na neno la bwana mm. okay eh, so bwana timothy Yes. Currently kama sasa saa hii e, umefikia wapi unasikiaje mwili wako unaona ni kama maybe kwa sababu huja kuwa ukioshwa unazidiwa e, nasitiwa naona nasitiwa viungo mm -hmm. vyote vya mwili ni viko vikali mm -hmm. hata wakati wa mbele nimekaa mm -hmm. nasikia kwamba haviko vizuri mm -hmm. sababu hiyo mpira hiyo carpet haijawekwa. Mhm. Mm eh. So nasikia mwili ime imekuwa mkali. Mm. Kila mahali. Mm. Mkongo. Mm -hmm. Na mwili yoyote. Mm. Na fiko zote sina sinakuwa tu saa hii mm -hmm. hata wakati huu ninasikia kwamba mm -hmm. ni lale tu huwa nalala tu kwa nyumba so unasikia tu kulala, kulala. kila wakati ni lala kila wakati mhm mm siwezi kukaa nikikaa mm -hmm. nisasikia mbaya mhm mm eh. okay kuna swali nitauliza eh, kwa sababu pia it is a very important question kutoka saa hii usipotibiwa daktari ashaikuambia maybe uko na muda wa aina gani kuishi kwa sababu nimeona unasema kuhusu eh, haya matibabu ina ndio ita, itafanya uishi. Ashai kuambia usipotibiwa mzee uda, uko tu na huu muda wa kuishi. Alisema mhm mm mwaka mwaka ikiisha mhm mm kabla sijaokuwekewa kabeta ya kuosha damu mhm mm sitakuwa sawa mhm mm nitasitishwa nipepwe nipelekwe hospitalini mhm mm ya pesa siko sitakuwa juu. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu nimekataa kuweka hiyo mkapeta. Mhm. Mm inaweza sababisha pia maisha yako. Inaweza sababisha maisha. Mm -hmm. 
yangu ni siishi mm. so wao ya pesa mm. so one year one year mm. haifai kupitisha hapo haifai kupitisha hapo ni kama sichawekwa sasa hii umekaa how long before uwekwe hiyo kapeta sasa hii nimekaa kwa mesi nimekaa mesi sita kama hujawekwa kama hujawekwa una meza tu dawa dawa tu mm. Mm. So kwa saa hii unafaa kuwa umewekwa kwa sababu kama alisema one year ni kumaanisha ni six months peke yake. Mm. Mm-hmm. Itakuwa tu nikifura mwili. Mm-hmm. Siki mwaka ikiisha nitaona nitaona tu nikaanza kufura mwili wote. Mm-hmm. Niku mm-hmm. usoni wote baada ya pole mwili itakuwa nikifura. Mm. Mm. <sighs> okay. Eh, maybe unaweza tusaidia I'm sure mumekuwa mkisema mnataka kusaidiwa. Unaweza maybe tupatia watu wanaweza kusaidia kivipi? Na wanaweza kusaidia aje uko na namba maybe ya simu mtu anaweza kupatia pesa kwa Mpesa. Eh niko na simu. Mm-hmm. Kama naweza pata mkenya yote naweza kusaidia au mtu yote kunisaidia. Mm-hmm. Anisaidia kupitia kwa simu yangu. Mm-hmm. Tupatie namba. 0725 mm-hmm. 52 96 62 mhm 0725 25 52 52 96 62 96 62 jina itatoa nani itatoa Timothy Ngache mhm Timothy Ngache mhm uh, so maybe unaweza as uh, tuna tukimalizia unaweza sema kitu maybe ya mwisho unaweza washukuru ambao watatuma na pia mamu useme jambo moja tukimalizie mimi nashukuru kwa usaitisa ambao yeyote atakaye nisaidia Mungu akipenda kwa kwamba wanisaidie ili niendelee kuishi ulimwengu ni mm-hmm. na sinisipo saitiwa mm-hmm. Sintaishi. Mm. Kwa hivyo ningependa hivyo. Mm. Eh. Mm-hmm. Eh, kupitia kwa maongea ya maongea. Mm. Napenda tu kila mgenya yoyote mwenye yako mwenye anatusikiliza. Mm-hmm. Naomba usaidizi. Mm-hmm. Mse wangu apone mm-hmm. awe mzima. Mm-hmm. Usaidizi wa pesa. Mm-hmm pata pesa mm. akienda muwekee kapeta mm. ataruti sawa mm. kwa sababu pato napenda mm. kumuona mm. tena watoto wanapenda kumuona mm. na usaidizi tena watoto wasome mm. na hata kanisa ukonjwa ndio hiyo mm. watoto ndio kwa boma na watoto wanataka kusoma mm. ili wakienda wanafukuzwa pesa mm. sasa tunakaa tu nao kwa boma mm. kwa kanisa ndio hiyo sasa yatakana awe kwa kanisa kiutumia kwa shirika. Mm. Ah, msaada wangu utakuwa wa kuwezesha kusaidia sisi kama familia. Mm. Mm. Okay and uh, I am sure uh, God will use the you know people who are watching us ndio waweze kusaidia a uh, this family waweza kusaidia uh, mchungaji Timothy and uh, i said that god will always give us the strength when i was starting this show uh, you know even to overcome what we are going through yes we have troubles and problems but he will be ever present in the time of need and i pray that you may be touched by this story of Timothy because he is undergoing uh, you know treatment but he's unable to and uh, that carpenter that he's uh, you know requesting uh, the money for it is going for 35000 Kenya shillings i'm sure we have so many people who can stand with him and they will say and you know when you will, you will be rema- you when we you and of course when you will be praying and maybe you are in trouble you will remind god that you saved you know a man of god's life because as he has said that you know doctors have counted days for him and uh, you know seeing a man of his age and of course even a man of god a member of the clergy saying that he you know he has a family to support he has you know 
the church even to uh, to minister to and he's unable to because of you know the dialysis he cannot be able to go for the dialysis so that he can be able to treat this renal cancer of uh, the kidneys and that is why i'm pleading with you all wherever you are wherever you're watching us from people in uk people in us canada uh, south africa ethiopia tanzania wherever and even those who are in kenya please i'm praying for you so that you may be touched by this story and the number on your screen you can use it to save pastor uh, timothy's life so that he can be able to stand up again and I'm sure those who pray know that even, you know, when all seems lost, hope still remains. And I'm sure that he still hope that somebody outside there will be touched by his story, by his sickness, and he will save his life. Because I can assure you, when you send your hundred shillings, when you send your thousand, when you send your five thousand, you are helping and it will come back to you and you'll be saving his life. So kindly... Send your support to that number and God will bless you. And I pray that God will enlarge your territories and blessing and you will see his blessing upon your life when you touch, uh, you know, this man of God's life. So thank you for watching. I'm Hira Maina from Kakamega County. God bless you. Till next time. Bye-bye. We are right now to call uh, a place called Kidimani. Now this is in Machakos County and actually from Kilimani town to here mm. it is just 5 minutes drive. Imagine mimi nimeingia uh -huh. tao nimeingia Kilimani mm -hmm. kidogo kidogo nikashtukia nimefika. <laughs> Tuko kwa shamba. Tuko kwa shamba already. Uh -huh. So it's um it's an ideal place. It's mm -hmm. only it has taken us 5 minutes mm -hmm. to to get here. Mm -hmm. And so number 1 mm -hmm. yati unafika haraka it's very accessible. Mm -hmm. It's just 5 minutes from where mm -hmm. we are. Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly and uh Actually, if you want to know where these plots are, it is just next to Chumbani Primary School. Mm. If uh, you know Chumbani Primary School, next it is, uh, uh, you know, Faraja Settlers uh, plot. And this plot, they are 50 by 100 piece of plot. And if you want to own this plot, you can just call the number on your screen, 0705525252. And uh, they are 50 by 100 piece of plot. Yeah. So if you want to own this plot, mtu anafaa kukua na pesa ngapi? Mtu anafaa kukua na 300. Tuko na offer, mm -hmm. by the way, wacha mm -hmm. nieke <laughs> disclaimer. Eh. Tuko na offer ya Kenya shillings, 370 thousand only here on the offer deposit mm -hmm. uh it is fifty thousand mm -hmm. payable in six months mm -hmm. yes and it is good uh our viewers to know that this amount is mm. inclusive of your title deed e, akuna malipo akuna charges ingine zina ongezeka after e, you are yeah. uh, you have completed paying this amount yes. and remember mm. uh that uh, after completion of uh, this amount three hundred and seventy thousand kenya shillings cash all you have to do is wait for just one month for your title deed yako eh? yeah. So kwa wale maybe mnauliza ni amenities gani tunaongelelea? Mm -hmm. Tumewaambia shule iko hapo chumbani mm -hmm. uh, school after that mm -hmm. we have the, the plots over here mm -hmm. tuko na stima yeah tuko na maji mm -hmm. immediately after the the center the town center that is next is a market mm -hmm. a very big market mm -hmm. inaitwa Kimango mm -hmm. Kimango market mm -hmm. so mambo yako imeangaliwa vizuri Kabisa. na barabara nasikia dudhi mm -hmm. we are just next to <laughs> the road we are just next to the road yeah. barabara iko hapo so yeah. guys you are sorted na hii offer haikai. Eh, eh. It's just one week. Mko karibu sana. Yeah.